Hey everybody, it's Tanner here at Western Motor, and today I wanted to walk around the 2023 GMC Sierra 1500 SLE. This is, comes in titanium rush metallic. You've got the chrome accents here. As we walk around, we have the 17 inch wheels with aluminum rims, the three quarter static boards, full crew cab. Into the back, we have a spray in bed liner straight from the factory. And then, along with the X31 off-road package, we have the tailgate release, automatic. So when we bring the tailgate up, we have the light that shines down onto the tow package. We've got the rear view camera. We've got a full-size spare, along with the dual chrome-tipped exhausts. As we go back around, again, it's an X31, which is the off-road package for this model. We've got the passive entry, which operates on both the driver and passenger side doors. And then we've got your blind spot mirrors here in the rear view mirror. So this particular Sierra does come equipped with a 5.3 liter V8 engine along with a 10 speed automatic transmission. So let's take a look inside, shall we? As we open up, you'll, the first thing that you'll notice is we've got the full crew here, which means that you can have someone probably up to 6'7", I don't know, maybe even 6'8", sitting back here comfortably with me driving, and I'm 6'5". One of the biggest differences, though, in the newer models is the removal of the storage compartment. The storage compartment previously went from about here to here, and what GM has done is they've removed that to provide you with a little bit more storage in the back. So if you do have your uh, seats up, you can put a dog back there or you know, luggage. On top of that, you've got the, uh, you've got your all-weather mats. You've got two vents back here, along with two uh, USB cords and a 12 volt. Let's take a look at the real show though, up front. So as we get behind the driver's seat, let's take a look at the different control options we've got available. Here on the door, we have lock and unlock. We have our mirror controls here. We've got our window lock, and then we've got our four window controls from the master here. Here we have the parking brake. We have our tow mode along with your four wheel drive. So four high, four low, two high, and then auto. We have the exterior dome light along with your infotainment brightness stack. And then finally, we have your lights here. So now that we're behind the wheel, let's take a look at our steering controls. Right here we have our uh, cruise control, collision avoidance, and a huge upgrade in the SLE uh, trim level, which is the heated steering wheel. We have our, uh, our voice controls here. Uh, we have the phone hang up. And then right here is where we control our infotainment stack. Now, one of, the, one of the other big upgrades in the SLE and, and really all of the, uh, the 1500 Sierras is the digital outlay, outlay. So you've got the digital info stack up here along with a much larger screen than we've had in the past. Um, we also, over here, we've got our windshield wipers along with our wash along with the blinker. All right, so you have your trailing option here. Go through here. Obviously this allows you to manage the phones, uh, connecting your smartphones, whichever it is. Uh, Google Maps is now the primary map provider for GM. So everything that goes through here will be a Google map. And then of course, with audio options, as you're used to, we now have AM, FM, Sirius XM, and Bluetooth capabilities. Uh, you can also use, if you've saved uh, music or anything else on a USB, you can plug that in and play it right here. Uh, there's two options to get back to the home screen. You can either press right there or there's a static option to go right here. On and off is right here, your mute button, and then of course your volume is here. Now we have lane keeping assist, your uh, auto start stop option, which is like in most uh, Sierras, it is cancelable. Uh, you can drop your tailgate, you've got your hazards, your stability control is right here, and then your descent, descent assistance is right here. 
again, uh, you've got your start button right here, which is evident because we started the vehicle. Uh, right here, you can dial in uh, for your trailering modes, heated seats, and then of course the dual, uh, of course you've got your dual climate control option here. Now, one thing that GM has kept towards is having the uh, climate control stack down here with buttons rather than through the screen. So, of course, you've got your auto and then your different placements for your fan right here. You can sync your climate control right here and your defrost here. On and off, along with your fan speed. And, of course, your AC is here along with your uh, circulation preference here. One of the things you might have noticed about this vehicle is that it doesn't have a console that goes all the way over the transmission tunnel. In fact, you've got the open space here along with the seat that can fold up. So you can't have a third seat. You have one console here. So some storage right down here can come down to be the seat. And then of course, the seat belt, which is huge when it comes to safety. Uh, as you go down, you do have the two cup holders, change holders, you know, whatever you want to put on there. Uh, your phone placement pad along with another cubby. So while it doesn't have the full console, it still has a tremendous amount of storage in this area. Now, one other option and upgrade that they've had is the passenger storage. So this button right here opens passenger storage right here it's a it's a minimal port that you can put just about anything in of that size and then of course you do have the glove box now one thing that you will notice is that you do not have an owner's manual uh my g the my gmc app now contains all the ownership information for the vehicle so if you're interested in this car or any other car in our inventory check us out at shopwesternmotor.com shopwesternhonda.com any of our social media outlets, or give us a call. You can call me, call Josh, call Luis, call any one of us, and we'll be more than happy to help you. Because remember, at Western Motor, it's one way, your way.